Hello, strategists, generals and soldiers of the Second World War. Welcome back to Panzerkorps Gold and playing hardball. Welcome back to Stalingrad, its docks and its industrial facilities, especially here the T-34 factory that is still pumping out T-34s of the newest design every day, day by day. It is no, there's no end, right? We don't even know where they get their steel and all the stuff. Especially as our Luftwaffe is bombing all the ships. And these guys, they are actually only transporting troops. Our little recon here, high risk recon, found out that there are guards here, which is not good at all. The elite infantry. Here, these stormtroops, SMG infantry, were problematic enough in the house fighting, but we definitely need to sink these guys. But we can't attack with the bomber because we only have three left, and I am sure they will. Although it says minus one, minus one, we know how things work here. Yeah, so. I mean, I think we are fine here. Oh yeah, but I think we do have a problem maybe here with these grenadiers because they are in the open. They have no defensive fire. These guys might get there and attack them. So let's bring in some defensive fire. And I think the Bezaglieri, they will be fine because they have three entrenchment, right? Yeah, it's not ideal, but yeah, it's the best we can do at the moment. And otherwise, we were done, right? Yeah. Shooting them now would be a waste. On the other hand, the next turn. Yeah, no, that's fine. Or should we maybe? I mean, they will most likely, they will not attack us here and they will not okay so in the next turn we can just give them new ammo ammunition so let's shoot these guys at least once oh come on well then okay that was a waste let's end the day and forget about it okay oh costly ah oh, there was it an attack I had the right feeling. Oh, come on, guys. Not even destroyed one. Oh, we lost two planes. Oh, there's one there, one flag. Oh, lots and lots of ships coming in. Oh, no. Lots and lots of ships. So that's not good. The situation has deteriorated. They took back this uh, field here, the flag. So let's have a look at our air situation. There are guards here, those are new guards. The others were here. The ships can go for four. One, two, three, four, four. So they could be anywhere on these tiles, in this area. So let's find out, like so. Ah. Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, so we need to sink them. Ah, oh, that's a big problem. Our bombers are out of bombs. We only have this door. Now, come on, sink them. Very good. SMG, double star even. Yeah, uh, so they are preparing a counter-offensive, I guess. SMG. I bet there is flak over there. That's not good. Somewhere here is surely flak. But we need to sink those guys. And those guards. The guards are the prime target. Good. Oh, attack plus one. Very good. That was Stefan Weber. 
Ah. Although he's just a minor hero, which is a bit sad, but well. Better than nothing. You guys. Well, we have them. We are not flying them close here because there's surely something. Maybe we get lucky and this door is out of range. I just I just attacked with them because I think sinking the whole guards unit like that was probably the the most economic thing, even if we have some casualties now. Then yeah, let's attack them. We'll have a second. Oh yeah, okay. We'll have a second uh attack on that ship before they can land. There's flag here, a big one. One, two, three. So let's fly like so. Is there someone? No. Okay. And you guys need to get to the airfield for refueling. I'm sure they would shoot down uh, the planes, right? So they fly there, they fly here. And these guys. Fly there. Aha, uh -huh, there's no one here, okay. Ah, there's someone. A ah, riverboat, okay. I wonder what happens. Maybe they... No, but if we if we sink the riverboats, I mean, ob obviously, uh, there's not a huge fleet here, but they just come in, right? I guess every day. Well then, so now here. I mean, we are pushing them... We are pushing them right in and their their little little nest. Oh, now it's just a bridgehead. Uh, it's getting closer and closer. So let's start down here. We don't have any ammunition. These guys have three operational units. They go forward. Oh no, just second. They are blitz pioneers. Okay, they can go in. Okay, yeah. Then they got these guys go in. Take them out. You're quick. Very good. Quick witted, hard Gebirgsjäger. Out of ammo now. Then you guys go in. Take the city. Besaglieri. Go in like so. Italian storm gun or assault gun shoots them. Besaglieri attacks. Very nice. And then you guys go forward. And Stuk provides defense, defensive fire. Other that that was actually a waste. They could have stayed here and I could have just resupplied them. They only have two shots left. But well, maybe we trick them into attacking or something. So then there's artillery here that we could surprise. And we definitely should do that. Or we use the tank up here. They have two shot the range of two shots. We can't get anywhere where we can shoot anybody with this artillery. Ultra grenadiers. Defense pioneers. Hmm. 
Yeah, they definitely go here. Okay, it's full of infantry. Make an artillery strike on them. Oh, come on. Adler Paniers. Yeah, and we don't have any defensive fire, right? And these guys shouldn't be in the front. However, they are probably the only ones who actually, who can actually attack without casualties. So let's do it. Good. Oh, come on. Yeah, well. That's so frustrating and sad. Come on, take them. There's a glary. You go in. Italian infantry also goes in. Although no, you're not. You guys drive in, take the artillery by surprise. No, no surprise. Then spy tank follows up. What do we see? More infantry from there. Oh, Sergeant Pavlov. That's Sergeant Pavlov. Stormtroops. Strength 17. No hero. Okay, but we have Sergeant Pavlov inside. Five stars. Let's destroy the artillery. And then our ultra tank follows up. There, like so. Yeah, and I bet there is more flak around. So we can't help with any plane, so let's attack them there, okay. At least they are not a danger right now. We are driving here. They provide defensive fire for them. Yeah, and they need to block in case they go here and attack them. There are five shots left, and we can't fly here because of the park uh, of the flag. <sighs> yeah. That's all a bit sad. Ah, oh, they are out of bombs. Yeah. No airfield in sight. We should tell our engineers to build one that is more central. So then it's just these guys who can bomb the T-34. The last bombs, no effect, very bad. Then you guys need to get to the airfield. Let's stay back. They go like so. Yeah, we need to get them away. So 
Well then, then we are up there. These fighters can go there. But there is Flak. One, two, three. Yeah. I think we should be fine, right? And we need to, yeah, we need to get to the airfield anyway. So let's shoot them. No effect. But at least we reduced the entrenchment a little bit. So now, you guys can't shoot the tank with any effect. Hmm. Well, but I think we need to destroy these guys. So you go here like so, shoot them. You go in. Attack them. Oh, nice attack, very good. They should not pose a problem anymore. Now, let's concentrate on the tanks. But we can't have any planes here. You guys get new ammo. Now our situation isn't so bad defensively. You have two shots left. It's no use shooting with you at the tank, so let's shoot at the infantry. Oh, come on. Nine are suppressed. They have... Uh, I mean, these Blitz Grenadiers. They go here like so, so they get a bonus. So let's attack them. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Then... I think you guys can go here. Let's shoot them. Oh. Too suppressed. Well, then the Italians. You drive. Well, if someone comes from here, but they don't see us, right? They have six shots. Well, let's make a little trap just in case. And also, I mean, no one can get to them, but well, whatever. But I wanted to uh, have them actually here because they, oh, well, no, they, they will go in here. They are the normal grenadiers. They have no entrenchment, so they will. So let's, yeah. That's where we get some defense at least. So now, oh, come on. Why are they so bad? Zero six, one eight. Oh. Why is that happening? But I mean, we could use them against them. So let's attack them and make them flee. Very good. And then we have to hope. They need to get out of there anyway. They have two shots left, but lots of fuel. And they are still yeah, in range of the of these guys. So let's bomb them. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I can't believe that. Well, then you guys go in here like so. And then you just take them out. You are grenadiers after all. Oh, come on. No, too. Oh, well. Can't say anything there, right? So we are going to shift around a bit. You guys take this one. And you guys, you have entrenchment three now. Yeah, I think we are just holding position here. Although it's, it would be a waste because they have all nearly full resources. So let's move in like so. They drive there. They drive like so. Still one eight. Hmm. They have initiative of two. This guy has a tech plus three. Now come on, let's do it. Oh, nice. Wow. Very nice for change. So it's going back and forth. That's typical for Stalingrad. Things are totally getting uh, going back and forth. So you fly, uh, drive back there. We need this infantry to go here. They drive there. And, yeah, and they drive here. So I think that was pretty nice here. Otherwise, this day really was uh, rather something to forget mostly. But we made some progress. One more plane here. Ah, oh, no, only for shooting, okay. And we have two planes here. These guys need to get there. Yeah, we can do anything. Could attack them, but there's surely some flak here. I bet it, I bet that there's flak there, you guys. You can actually go here like so, and the next turn you can either shoot, you sh can shoot either uh, any of them. They can also go forward. They can drive there. They can just get new fuel now that they don't have anything to do. They go forward, block the area.
Yeah, we just need some more information what's going on there. So next turn we can actually, the next turn will be very interesting here for our uh, forthcoming because then we can uh, shoot them with two artillery strikes, yeah. Blitz partners can go one, two, three, like there. Okay, so this one is a bit scary here with all this uh, infantry at very high strength, very experienced, these guys. Let's hope they are not going to attack our tanks here. But the good thing is we are cutting off the supplies for these guys, isolating this quarter of the city. Okay then, so... I mean, and actually maybe it's time, now that we are so close here, maybe it's time to put forward 188. They can see us though. But I think it's time. They have two T-34 and next next turn we really need to get going there uh, and take this the regulars. Good thing is we do have uh, the artillery. So let's go there and then actually they could uh, go for this tile as well. And there's Flak here. So. All right. Not attacking there, you guys, that would be rather suicidal. We need to bomb them. Yeah, so that's it. You just guys circle, wait for an opportunity. You shouldn't expose yourself too much. Yeah. No, we are not we are not driving them alone all alone in there just like that. Let's resupply them. Okay, and I guess that's it for this turn. Let's see what happens. Yeah. We didn't make as much progress as I hoped on act October 13th, but well, that's Stalingrad. Oh, there's a fighter. Ah, defensive fire, very nice shot. Okay, moderate. Oh, nice defensive fire. Oh no. Oh no, the Bezaglieri. Ships. More ships flying in, uh, sailing in. Oh, that's the river boat. SMG. Can't sink it. Ah, oh, we've not been shot at. So it appears there is, like on these tiles, there is no, uh, yeah, on these tiles there is no flag. Let's sink this one. SMG infantry. Very good. Conscript. And by the way, the ships have a viewing range of one. Okay. So this one. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't feel like we should actually, ah, but they can actually do it. Is there flak? No, let's sink it. Oh, come on. Ah, and by the way, I wonder if it's actually possible to combine the troops. I think it's not possible, right? Uh, 
at least not here in this game. Well, you guys need to get new bombs. You, ah, definitely need to get new fuel. Oh, and you too, okay. Well, they need, not that there are fighters around. It's a Lavoshkin, or it's even a pretty good one. Attack 17. By the way, just to check it, our... They had 14, so it's a way better fighter. So I'm really glad that I upgraded these guys to the Fokker Wolf. Otherwise, we would we would have really big problems. But, oh, and they need to get the airfield. Oh, and we don't have any flak. They are up here, and it will take forever to get to the fighter. Okay, we do have problems. We do have problems with these guys. Hmm. And I actually I don't want to sink the river boats, but rather These other guys, so let's fly there, someone there, no. And they, from here it's a waste, because we can go for 13, right? And our guy has attack plus one, so it's 13 from here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, oh yeah, just one tile. So we are not going to attack there. So can we maybe find someone? You guys, there's someone here. No. Okay, well, I guess we are sinking this one here, this river boat. And the next turn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's fine. So let's rather sink this one as we are more powerful this way. And then we can also see something here. Very good. They are gone. And then you guys. Oh, it's just three. Yeah, well then. And then you provide cover for them. And then you attack them, conscripts, which is kind of a waste, but well. Okay, at least three. I was thinking of kind of a waste in case we get casualties, right? So you guys take that one, very good. And now the action starts. You fly there like so. You fly there like so. So much for the action, right? Um, so there's flak here. You guys. Shoot the tank. Nice shot. Ah, yeah, very good. We drive in, or maybe actually, you guys drive in like so. And then we see something. Okay, no, it's just these guys. 
pioneers. They are surrounded. Very nice. Oh, come on. Yeah, I was too greedy. But we need to do something here as well. Ah, yeah, so there's a wave of conscripts coming in. You guys shoot them again. They are at eight, right? Yeah. Oh, a nice shot. Just the fresh arrivals. You guys take them out. Very good. Going in like so. Then you guys are not really good. But it's better than nothing. Driving there. Shooting them a bit. They drive there. Shoot them. Nice shot. And the tanks should roll over them without difficulty. Yes, good. Now they could go like directly here. So let's prevent that. Oh, they go here into that tile, of course. Now let's wait for a moment. We have only one artillery left though. And that one needs to go on them. Don't, I don't want to have any more casualties here. Blitz grenadiers go in. Like there. Well, the tank goes there. Very good. Ah, attack plus zero. Oh, nice. And he looks pretty, pretty determined. Marcus Wagner. Very nice. Actually, that's really great. Plus three. Movement. So these guys are developing pretty nicely. These Blitz Grenadiers. They are out of ammunition. They go here. They need to defend this area. Yeah, they can just stay back. For the moment. Wouldn't be so good to attack with the tanks over there. So let's have them resupplied for later. You guys get into position. Or rather you go, you go here. So we have some options. You drive there. Yeah, and we are really out of artillery shells. But our guys are defended. At least so far. Wow, well, that's fine. This way they are yeah, they are denied the, the visibility here, so it's good. But they need to retreat a bit. Maybe let's drive here. Ah, there's no one there, okay. So next turn we can scoot in, take a look what's going on here. And then it's fine. That was pretty much a shame that the plane didn't sink the SMG. They were supposed to be dead. On the ground of the Volga.
and we can't really do anything that isn't suicidal so let's resupply here you guys oh yeah you are really in trouble and that would be very bad so let's rather get out of there so but here in the north well we did make some progress we could attack them pretty nicely though however as we don't know anything it is not wise to fly in just one unit alone so let's firstly do something here oh you guys need new ammo you guys as well but we could nicely protect you that was actually a good thing to get them out of there very good they are all suppressed now ultra grenadiers come from behind and now they are also surrounded and they just destroy them oh come on oh come on guys why well then, Bezaglieri. Not the pioneers. Also out of ammunition, or nearly, but we definitely need to do something about these guys. And of course it's a very unwise idea so there as this is fortification there's surely more here and i noticed i guess they have different barriers here you know i think it was here like that like that as well so like blocking like a barricade basically inside the city And we don't have any artillery left. So let's rather have you guys resupplied. You guys as well. So we just leave them alone for another turn. That's not very good, but it's also not very bad. They are so they get out of there. They go here, and actually, we we are preparing a very nice uh, trap for them, right? So if they come out, or these guys go there to attack them, they are in for a nasty surprise. So everybody has a defensive fire there, very good. Our ultra tank. Needs to take them out. Still, they don't want to die. Oh, and that's bad, yeah. But, as I thought, so, and I bet there's a third one here of those, or something else, or other artillery or something. So they are getting away, huh? Or maybe if you drive here, but they will just come out of there. Should we attack them now? Well, we could attack them now, but we are not doing that. So then here. Now there's action. You guys. They are SMGs and they are conscripts. But I think, well, we should probably go for the docks. More the docks rather than uh, this here.
Or our auxiliary could do it, I guess. Then let's go here. It is kind of risky, in a sense. So you guys go there like so. You shoot them. Yeah, no. Let's just go in like so. We are using our Stook defensively. And then rather these guys, they will, I think they are the SMG guys are more dangerous. And we can destroy them easily with our overwhelming Wurfram. Five, okay, good. And then you guys go there, shoot them some more. Right. Everybody, good. And now you guys go in, attack them, take them out. Very good. And now the Italian infantry marches in, denies visibility. You guys go in, shoot there. Oh, wow, that, that was a nice one. Okay, now actually the Bezaglieri. Yeah, take them out. Very good. And now they provide a very nice target. Oh, and actually, no, you guys, you just resupply. Yeah. Okay, well, we wipe those guys out. Very good. Maybe someone comes in from there. There's another overstrength, unit super overstrength. <coughs> we could, no, we can't drive there, okay. Well, they would be totally in the open. And then our ultra grenadiers are here. They can see us. So I guess they are not going to attack us. But I hope I'm not risking our spy tanks too much. But this way we will also see some more what's going on here all around. Oh. Ah, yeah. So this is like a very strong position there. So destroy the tank. And we are very unlucky with the with the plane. So let's resupply. Yeah, that was that would still be suicide, but you guys need more ammo. Yeah, you can also use some ammo. They could actually they could provide some assistance these guys. Or oh, 06 Maybe we should attack them. That would be quite daring. And who knows what's there. But I think it might be a good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, after that we will be stuck there, so that's not a good idea. But I really want to attack there. So I think we are, we are going to do it. And then maybe we are even disrupting the strong position here. And then if they if they switch to uh, anti-tank mode or something, 
these guys with a viewing range of one. Uh, yeah. Because otherwise, I guess these guys will actually attack us. So I think we need to do something now. So let's drive in. We need to take the initiative. You guys drive there like so. Oh yeah, and we are the spy tank. Oh, there's another one, okay. Well then, let's attack them. Okay, good. Okay, good. And then actually you guys can take that. And now they can't see, they only see the tanks. Oh, and actually, yeah, no, oh, they can, they can only see this one here now. This area. Only these tanks are being seen from the conscripts or by the conscripts. Oh no, and they, they can see both of them, okay. Hmm. They have a range of three, yeah. Okay, now then let's ju let's just stay there. Okay then. Oh, and sorry. Uh, we do have these guys. No, they are they are supposed to be um they can't go here good no they are supposed to be a bait because then we have a defensive shot uh, with the italian m40 at least so okay then that's that they th them will keep in supply uh, in reserve over here a bit sad or oh, actually no they will drive around here and then they can actually they are behind these guys mm. yeah okay they were pretty smart with their fighter here uh, because I guess they also calculated or the uh, our or the, the the Soviets calculated that uh, we were out of fuel so their fighter could um, operate here for a while right that must be the reason Yeah, no, let's stay there. Not taking any risks there. Let's rather increase our entrenchment further, you guys. Entrench yourself. Okay then, so anyone to be resupplied? No, that's it. All right then, so I think that's the situation right now. As time has progressed, let's end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this one cool. It was a little bit frustrating, given the casualties uh, that were not supposed to happen. And it's actually not so good that our, all, that our infantry has been so reduced already. But I mean, all in all, I think it's okay. Okay-ish. And we have made further progress. We have pushed the Soviets in and we are actually, we are forming a kettle here, more or less at least with these uh, units here. Um, and that will be an advantage, I guess, unless they come with something nasty. So 
And I'm also glad that we took the opportunity to uh, reduce this KV because that thing is, while not overly uh, dangerous on the attack, it can be pretty nasty. So let's see what happens. But that we will see in the next episode. Thank you for watching again. I would appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet so you never ever miss an episode again. See so you next time. Bye-bye.